Folks, I don't often do this, but in this video, I've got a really simple tactic that will actually make you a millionaire. But a note of caution, it's really easy, but few will ever take advantage of it. My name is Ibrahim Khan. Every month, I help 4 million plus Muslims with their personal finances, and I've written a best-selling book published by Wiley. And today, we're going to talk about ISA investing. Yes, I see you rolling your eyes. Oh, he's going to talk about ISIS again. But stay with me on this and I promise you it will result in a destination that is worth seven figures. By the way, American investors, Canadian investors and European investors, all of you will have a similar scheme in your country as well. TFSA, I believe, is in Canada, IRAs in the USA. You've got tax-free allowances. The same analysis will apply there. But let's get back to the UK. Savings ISAs, stocks and shares ISAs, innovative finance ISAs, any profit that is made in an ISA, even when it's reinvested, remains completely tax-free. But what I know for a fact is that 99.9% .9 of you will not achieve 4.375 million by the time you are 65 and it's not because you didn't want to it's not because you couldn't afford to it's because you didn't do one simple thing and 4.375 million is a lot of money folks that's an annual retirement income should you want it of 328,000 pounds per annum that's more than most people make in their working life forget retiring so what exactly is this one thing maxing out your ISA 20,000 a year or 1,667 pounds per month for 40 years. Start at the age of 25 and just continue to max out your ISA every single damn year and you will earn 4.375 million by the time you're 65, assuming a return of 7.5% per annum. The killer part to all of this is the tax-free point because every year if you had got taxed you would have ended up with closer to 1.7 million giving away approximately 2.6 million in lost earnings and taxes to the government. So the government is giving us a massive gift and we're looking this gift horse straight in the mouth folks and we're walking away from it. Our millionaire game plan is literally at our fingertips and we see an advert for it once a day in the underground. And people, myself included, often make the big mistake of poo-pooing a nice steady 7-8% to return investment. If it's being earned tax-free, it's a game changer. To give you a context, if you were being taxed as an additional rate taxpayer at 45% and assuming your full profit was going to be taxed at 45%, you would need to earn a return of 13.6% per annum without fail on a £20,000 investment in order to end up in the same place as someone else would have were they to have invested in a 7.5% investment in an ISA that was tax-free. 13.6% taxed equals 7.5% untaxed. And 13.6% returns are not easy to come by, folks. They can be done, and we do have investments on our platform that do achieve that. But the beauty of an ISA is that even with very low risk investments, because of the tax benefits, you can actually achieve exactly the same results. And folks, you have to move fast on this. I'm 33 now, and I was just doing the maths. In eight years of me not having done this, I have lost 218,369 pounds. That's a lot to somehow make up now. Now, over the next 32 years, to catch up, I would need to be saving away £2,700 a month between me and my wife's ISA to catch up where I would have been had I started when I was 25. And by the way, I can't do it on my own now because I need to catch up more than 20000 a year. So I will always need to have access to someone else's ISA as well. And you might be thinking, Ibrahim, that's a nice story for rich people who can actually save £1,667 per month. That's just not me. Okay, fine. But can you do 250 pounds a month. Most people, even in lower paying jobs at the start of their career, can just about scrimp and save and set that much aside. And you know what? If you just maintain that £250 for 40 years, you end up with £755,000, which can generate you a handsome income of £56,000 per annum tax-free in your retirement. So let's get practical. What are your options? Well, there are basically two. You've got equities or you've got fixed income. In equities, you are investing in stocks and shares. And I would go for the aggressive portfolio in Wahid or just pick your own basket of Islamic funds or ETFs on AJ Bell. And over 40 years, that should average you around about 7%. The disadvantage of this route is that your investment will fluctuate over time and there will be volatility. Some years, it will be completely dead. Other years, it will really pop. 
The advantage of this route is that this is an asset class that is pretty accessible even with very low minimums. In fixed income, you can set up an innovative finance ISA with either us at Curate Capital and invest in the GBP income fund, which generates a 7.5% return, or the Curate USD income fund, which we've recently launched, which gives you an 8.5 to 9% return. Or you can set up an innovative finance ISA with Nesta, which is another Islamic platform where you can invest in specific deals and generate between 7 and 9%. The advantage of this route is the predictability and stability of your returns, while the disadvantage is that you need to start at a 5k minimum with Curate and a 1k minimum with Nesta, and you need to be a high net worth or a sophisticated investor. But don't be too put off by these designations, by the way. Many people actually do qualify as sophisticated investors, especially if you've been part of a group such as IFG for six months, for example, on our mailing list and actively involved. So do actually take a look at the onboarding process and see if you qualify. Your parents were probably right investing in property back in the 1970s and 1980s, but times are different now. Even a high yielding property at 12% will simply not make you the same return as I have mathematically proven to you earlier in this video. And that's ignoring all the additional headache and cost that comes with owning your own properties. And then you, once you've finally fought your hard earned way to 12 to 13%, you are taxed so heavily, you end up in exactly the same place as someone who just earned 7.5% tax free with no effort. So folks, be all the things in your investment life that an ideal husband should be on the Rishta scene. Safe, boring, steady, with a dependable paycheck and a clear pathway to 4.375 million pounds to retire on. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Roughly, how much do you manage to save into your ISA every year? Am I talking rubbish? Is this actually achievable? Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.